first question can you just introduce yourself and your job and uh, sure. why yeah why you need a uh, like ergonomic keyboards for typing of course yeah um my name is david chan i am 46 years old um i am a help desk manager mm -hmm. um i work for a, a a private equity firm in new york city so you know ever since i graduated from school um, about 20 plus years ago um, from college, I have been in technology, right? Uh, and part of technology, you have to use a keyboard, right? So um, I've always had a computer and a keyboard, you know, for the last 30 years, right? Um, so, you know, part of my day to day, I'm always and constantly typing every single day, right? So I grew, you know, I have a love for, you know, specific type of keyboards, right? Specifically mechanical keyboards, right? Um, that's where I grew up on, you know, the old school IBM keyboards or the PS2 serial keys, uh, serial inputs, right? Um, and then um, as part of my job, I got in, um, I fell in love with the Microsoft Scope keyboard, right? And that was like a very particular model. It's kind of curved, it's kind of angled. Mm -hmm. and I grew in love with that. Um, and it, it worked very well because of the way I, I sit, my posture, I tend to kind of sit and type like this mm -hmm. on my desk, right? Most people type like this, you know, typical keyboard, right? That's what you grew up on, right? So, you know, um, and then they stopped making a Microsoft Scope ergonomic keyboard. Um, this is back in, you know, 20, 18, 2019, and I started researching, oh, are there any type of ergonomic mechanical keyboards, right? Why not use that mechanical switch functions, which I love, right? So I researched and researched it, and then I found, you know, the Kickstarter page. Uh, and then I read through it, read some various reviews, and I'm like, all right, why not? You know, it doesn't seem too expensive, doesn't break the bank. Mm -hmm. I'll try it out. So I tried that out, and I got the one of the original models, um, I think it's just called the mechanical ergonomic keyboard. It had the RGB on it. And I got the you know the you know the cherry red or the Gateron red switch on it. Right, I love that keyboard. Use it for quite a bit. Um, pretty much, you know, it took a bit, maybe about a week to get used to the particular mm -hmm. formats. Right, you know, no no home key. That particular one didn't have the numpad. Right, um, oftentimes I need the numpad for entering numbers. Right, um, and then then I saw um around you know 2020 that they started making this newer model it's called the uh, the knights plus knights plus right? yes the knights plus so i have i have two of those right so nice. i bought the original one the nice plus and i got that with the brown you know um switch which i like it was nice and quiet for work um i mainly use it for work right and that was nice because it has a detachable number pad on it right mm -hmm. only thing i did not like about it was this little magnet mm -hmm. I, I lost it it's so easy <laughs> to lose it's so easy to just misplace it it's just a little magnetic you know by a little you know stainless steel kind of mm -hmm. plate right so i didn't like that too much about it right but i like that you're able to move it left and right, right? Mm -hmm. so i fell in love with that keyboard um and then i'm like all right i use this primary that's my primary keyboard at work right my day to day this was since you know um 2020 and then in 2021 i saw there was like a probably some sale or something going on right mm -hmm. i bought another one and a more updated one right um this updated one actually had you know the the rgb pass through of the the lighting of mm -hmm. the caps which the original one didn't have which i was kind of disappointed about because for that price point mm -hmm. it should have came with at least nicer key you know key caps right mm -hmm. But you know, I bought aftermarket ones, right? So I bought it from the website. Um, I ordered the additional key pads, and I replaced the key, um, um, the key, the, um, the keys on the original, the on the original Microsoft. I mean, on, on the original Knights Plus, mm -hmm. and I also changed out the switches because it was easily hot swappable. So very easy to swap, right? Then mm -hmm. I found out there's actually two different models of the switches, right? The older yeah. one actually uses the optical switch. Yeah. The new one actually uses the mechanical switch, right? So I took it apart, looked, looked at it. All right, so I ordered the wrong one. That's what's fine, right? It's not that expensive, right? Mm -hmm. Able to pop it in. So now I have um, a first gen and a second gen functioning exactly how I want it, right? With the RGB going through. And I'm not using the, the software 
to do customization. You know, I like it the way it is, you know, just default, you know, um, I'm not programming it to do hotkeys, I'm not using it for gaming functions. For me, it's just a, you know, I'm a purist. I just want to be able to type mm -hmm. and be able to, you know, feel my input on the mechanical keys. Mm -hmm. And that's basically why I love this particular product, right? Um, there are a lot of other competitor products out there, you know, ones that actually, the keyboard is actually split, you know what I mean? And like all these, and, off, and I've tried, you know, the later generations of Microsoft, you know, ergonomic keyboard. That's a Logitech one as well. They they work just as fine. They work fine, but you know, you just don't have that tactile key switch key. You know that that feedback from a mechanical keyboard, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, it serves its purpose, right? But also for the price point, right? You could get those keyboards for like under less than a hundred dollars, where you get you know any mechanical keyboard for over a hundred dollars, right? Any you know gaming keyboard, and now they kind of vary sizes and all that stuff too. So that's basically what record, you know, really drew me to the product. So, oh, that's that's quite a lot of information, to be honest. <laughs> you know, you, you answer a lot of questions I, I'm going to ask. But, the the uh, you know, you, you talk about the, the, the Kickstarter page. Like, uh, that's the first place you, you find out us. And uh, so now, you know, it's become after like uh, five years already, you mm -hmm. know, we, we we launched the brand you know we started a website you know we we have uh, over 50,000 people purchased from us and nice. uh yeah and uh 76 percent people feel like uh you know our products can uh signif significantly improve their rsi problem you mm -hmm. know like um and uh you know and uh, just changing their typing habit mm -hmm. uh, so uh, let me ask you like this way. So can you go back to the normal keyboards anymore after using um, the products? Um, I can't. I actually find myself typing slower and making more errors. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do have them, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's more for like my family, right? Yes, my, my wife and my kids, because mm -hmm. they can't type on this, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a learning curve, right? Absolutely. It took about a week to two weeks to kind of remember your keys again right it's completely different from what you're from what you were taught to type yes you know, especially the the home row keys right the qwerty keyboard right um but yeah so in that aspect yeah i i find myself difficult going back to a normal standard keyboard right mm -hmm. it's part of my job you know like when i'm not on my desk i'm like when i'm you know troubleshooting an issue at a, at a user's desk or at my colleague's desk they have a normal mm -hmm. keyboard i find myself typing a lot slower Mm -hmm. And also forcing myself, forcing my arms to go straight again, as opposed mm -hmm. to be yes, old. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So for for the future, like, um, what what do you think? Like, uh, what what uh, what kind of products do you expect? Like, uh, uh we can pr product make like production. Like, uh, for example, we have a lot of plan. Like, you talk about the split keyboard. We mm -hmm. have a plan in mind. Like, uh, we're going to launch that on Kickstarter on June. Yeah. Got um, it. Yes, and uh, we have a uh, slim keyboards, but uh, you can take a you know travel with you. Like uh, it's a very light, lightweight. Weight. Yeah, mm -hmm. lightweight keyboards, and uh, we have uh, iPad keyboards, and uh, we have uh, you know Mac keyboards for Mac computer only. Mm -hmm. uh, what products do you like? Uh, you feel like most exciting? Like uh, for me, can... something lightweight would be nice, right? Something that I could easily, you know, less than let's just say three pounds. Mm -hmm. Right, something light, something very slim. I can mm -hmm. easily throw in my backpack, and yeah. you know it has the appropriate connections. Like most of the things is now all USB C, USB C, USB A. Yeah, I could connect it to a laptop. I could connect it to a Mac, and I could be fully operational. You know, instead of buying a little tiny Logitech type of flimsy device type of keyboard, right? Um, even you know, um, with the newer connect connections now with USB C, you can even plug it into an iPad to use that. As a keyboard as well, right? So for me, something more, you know, sim similar in the, the ergonomic functions of it, mm -hmm. but more or less in a compact mode, right? Mm -hmm. But yes. not so compact where it feels very cheap and flimsy, mm -hmm. where you can like bend it. Ah, oh, this this was a two hundred dollar keyboard, and it feels so cheaply made, right? And that's mm -hmm. the prim primary concern, because like in this particular market, you're not looking to you make it. You're looking to make a pro quality product, and you have the clientele that willing to spend the money, right? But mm -hmm. the product, you know, that the, at the price point, 
whatever you're paying for the product is shit you know people are going to write negative reviews and they, yeah. and they get to go back to drawing board right yeah. so it's basically a lot of r d to going into you know putting forth you know and it's a lot of like all these different websites now like a good mm -hmm. example is like i think it's called drop or something mm -hmm. you can actually buy like a, a brand new skeletal keyboard or, mm -hmm. not, or not and you could build it from scratch right put yeah. in your keycaps put yeah. in whatever the switch is and you know that's another market too where you take the keyboard enthusiast, mm -hmm. you know, to another another level. Like, all right, now it's fully customized, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I was also looking, you know, it would be nice if I could get like a full keyboard like this, mm -hmm. like you're saying, but split it, right? But I still have that similar, right? That'll be kind of nice too. So like that way, you could, you know, return it back to normal, you know, when it looks like a full keyboard mm -hmm. for other people to use. That yeah. way, I'm like, oh, I can't type on my keyboard, like they're missing. Like for my wife, it's like she needs the home key, right? It's mm -hmm. like, oh, the home key, like so it's not there. I got I got to program it on there, right? You know, certain keys you could do it. You just got to program it back onto you know, using the software stuff like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. It would be nice if we could get a full size keyboard again, make it split. Those yeah. are the two big things, right? Split yeah. keyboard and something compact. So, um, would you like to recommend our products to your friends or like um, other I have, people? I have one, um, the original one, because I, you know, I don't want them to like, oh wow, this is such an expensive keyboard, you know, two hundred dollars, yeah. quite a price point where they're using, you know, something, you know, right out of the computer manufacturer keyboard. These like, you know, membrane type of switches, right? Yeah. Or even, you know, some of them are gaming gamers, right? So they will yeah. use like, you know, one of these gaming you know, brand keyboard that work, right? So the one person I did recommend it to, um, he actually bought the the first generation, you know, the one that's like less than less than hundred dollars or hundred dollars. So he got that one, he got it for home and he liked it. Like mm -hmm. you know, like we were talking about as well. Took a little bit of, of a learning curve to get it mm -hmm. to learn it, right? Uh, but he used that at home and he likes it. Yeah. So I did recommend make a recommendation and someone actually bought it. And uh, this is interesting. Different way of typing. <laughs> I like that. Um so um just besides the price point you know like uh did you find that our products like have any other difference compared to other you know competitors uh i i know like you use the the first generation night plus second generation night plus and the the very beginning one the one you know like uh the one with the it has like yeah. a, i think it has like a, a like a triangle right in the middle yeah, triangle, oh, yeah. it's, it's been so long i remember yes. that leaked the light up too uh-huh Yes, yeah. that's the, our first, you know, draft design, and we just launched for a sample something on Kickstarter. You know, we we just oh, that's, that's the first product. Uh, yeah, it works. But anyway, right now, you know, we besides the Night Plus, we have a uh, you know light keyboards. We have uh, the Crystal. You know, it's a uh, and uh, we have uh, split keyboards. You know, a lot of keyboards is ready to be launched. Um, like, give me three. Like, uh, you know, what's the best you know points about our products that you will recommend to uh, to other people well definitely the the ergonomics of it right mm -hmm. because it's not you know most of the other ergonomic keyboard that's out there mm -hmm. it's massive in size you yeah. see what i mean like yeah. it's yeah. it's huge it takes up so much real estate on your desk uh -huh. right this one you know your product is still in the same size as the standard keyboard, right? Just kind of shrunk in and kind of redesigned a little bit, right? Yeah. So that's, you know, one of those things that kind of really drives me where it's like, you know, keep them in the same size, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, similar price point, 150, 200, $300, you know, people will want to pay for that, right? If, yeah. if the product works, right? Um, those are my main things that, you know, I really look for something, you know, well-made, like I like that's metal. Mm -hmm. like, feel very flimsy it doesn't flex is the yes. word uh -huh. yeah. thank you thank you um yeah we you know we really appreciate your attend our interview and uh you know just you know we just want to you know get some feedbacks from our customers about our products and the future products you know mainly focus on you know future products because yep. you know, we we have a four different options right now so <laughs> we want to ask you know our uh, returning customers or vip customers uh, which products we we're going to you know go go to product uh, production first got because, it you know, we have a limited funds right now so you know we decided like what what kind of features does the customer need the most so also secondly right and like you know like something like this is 
functional. It works, right? Nothing is breaking. You know, the keycaps are, are nice. They're shining through. The lights are working, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like, you know, if I'm not going actively going to the website, I didn't know anything about new products. That's yeah. also another thing as well. Like, oh, yeah. you you saw talking about all these new products. I didn't even actually didn't even know you actually had a crystal key. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hey, is this like spam? Is this trying to so I, you know, go, you know, I went to the website. I'm like, oh, shit, sure enough, this yeah. actually really is a key, you know, a crystal keyboard. And for all of them, it looks kind of cool. You know what I mean? So like, so I wasn't even aware, like, because I'm not in the market for it because it's it's functional. It works, right? Yes. So I'm not, you know, you you're, you're paying this price point. You're not actively keep on shopping keyboards. You have to yes. use it, right? So like, I have like two keyboards here. Right? I have like one keyboard at work, right? In case one breaks or you know, I have emergency backup, right? Yes. So it's also being in the know that oh you know ex expose launching new products mm -hmm. that's in the pipeline you know stuff like that like we weren't aware maybe even saying that email communications yeah we you, you know we're we're quite like product driven company so we we're not invest too much on like marketing ourselves or something you know so that it sell itself on the products you know just yeah. like, you know just getting cost down and uh, you know yeah. launching more new products so. Yeah. That's that's our you know we 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 should invest more on marketing and or hire somebody to do this. Thank you for all the advice and uh, feedbacks. You know, like uh, we we going to um, you said crystal and uh, we're gonna send you a, a crystal for free. Awesome. And yes, for for helping us to get all this feedbacks. It's it's uh, you know it's very important to us to be honest. Yes. Yeah. So and just we're we're still small. But you know, we 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 see like a lot of fans, you know, from Discords, Reddits, and uh, people supporting us. Really appreciate this. Thank you so much. Of course, absolutely. Yeah, yeah if you need more feedback or whatever, you know, reach out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, David. So that will be today. Thank you. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Right. Bye bye. Bye bye.